I have a dimension layer. Uh, I still see it in this detail. So what I want to do is turn it off in this detail. And I'm also um, going to uh, use the layer dim layout so that the dimensions that I add here are separated from the ones that uh, were added uh, in the model space area. Sometimes you need more than one layer uh, for dimensions. In this case I'm going to have two. Uh, dim layout will be the dimension layer that uh, we use. And we also have a separate uh, text layer uh, text on the title block and text that we'll add to the layout. So um, at this point, I think I'm going to add the titles and then we'll uh, go in and do the dimensions. So I'll make the text layer current. And to give us uh, a little bit of a quick start with the uh, titles, I'm going to add the a couple of the uh, detail titles as uh, a block and I can explode this block and start uh, moving the details into place. Uh, I can also copy them so I'll bring those up here. Uh, when we create text on the layout the text is one-to-one -one. and if I look here at properties the text is a quarter of an inch high. We'll look at um, creating text uh, in the detail in uh, the next exercise that we do. But I'm going to copy that and I'm going to change this from front view to side view. The scale is the same. And I'm going to do just a couple more things here. I'm going to grab the text and I'm going to copy it up here tab to copy and uh, let's get uh, the control points on here. You can tell you know this is uh, Rhino uncensored so we're doing things just like you're going to do when you uh, set up your layout. This is the top view and I want to copy this detail up so that I have two of them. You'll see what I'm doing here in, uh, in a moment. Uh, turn on control points and now that we've been through quite a few things I'm going to uh, pick up the speed just a little bit here as we're working with these uh, details. Okay, so what I want to do with this uh, detail and it is locked right now, so I probably want to unlock it and just scoot it down a little. In this detail, I want to hide the bottle just in the detail. So I didn't turn off uh, the layer. I just uh, hid the bottle. And one more thing I want to bring back here is the dimensions that are turned off in this detail. Now it's kind of hard to see, but using this option here, View Details, I can see that it's turned off. So I'm going to turn that on. And when I turn it back on, again, I've uh, probably locked the detail a little bit sooner than I wanted to. So let me bring that down and try to be careful about keeping it uh, lined up. And uh, what else do we want to do? I guess lock it when we're done lining it up. 